first one is electronic polarization so this is the diagram for electronic polarization in a dielectric material so let's see what happens here so this is the diagram for charge distribution in the absence of electric field so let's see what happen when we apply electric field to it so when we apply electric field the displacement of positive and negative charges takes place so this displacement creates a dipole which develops dipole moment so here electronic polarization is denoted by alpha e that is equals to epsilon not into epsilon r minus 1 divided by n so here epsilon not is your dielectric constant of vacuum epsilon r is your relative dielectric constant and n is your number of atoms per unit volume second one is ionic polarization so this is the diagram for ionic polarization so here the ion placement in the absence of electric field okay so in the presence of electric field what happens the positive and negative ions displaces in opposite direction and the interionic separation increases until the bonding force stops the process and thus increases the dipole moment third one is orientational polarization in orientational polarization they occurs with the molecules which have permanent dipole moment so we can see here in this diagram dipole orientation in the absence of electric field it is so when we apply electric field to this then the molecules are partially aligned by the field and they contribute heavily to the polarization so it is denoted by alpha not that is equals to mu square by 3 kt mu is your permanent dipole moment k is boltzmann constant and t is the temperature so then what is the total polarization so here the total polarization is denoted by alpha which is given by the sum of electronic polarization ionic polarization and orientational polarization